Hello guys, you might be already aware of the switch statement, right? So we know that this is how a switch statement looks like. Switch takes an expression, then case, value, and there will be break statements, and there will be a default case also, right? But this switch statement has some of the drawbacks, okay? It only works with integer and byte, short, char, strings, enums, right? And if you see this, uh, each case also have to have a break, okay? Otherwise, it will fall through. So, and the value of the case must be same data type. So, there are few constraints that a break statement has. And as a Java software engineer, I was looking for some enhancement to this switch statement. And now I see that the Java 17 has it, okay? Yeah, there are some features which were already added in Java 13 onwards. But in Java 17, one of the most important problem which is solved is using the object in your switch case, okay? So you can actually use the object type. We have to use instance of operator to check object type, right? And we are not allowed to use object in the switch case statement. To solve that problem, we have to use if else and there was no other solution to this, okay? But this is solved in this Java 17, which I really liked. This is what I wanted to show it here today. In this switch, you can pass the object type or a base type, I can say. And in the case, you can actually check the specific type and against it, whatever you want to do, you can do it here. Once you use this arrow operator, you don't have to add the break statement. Using this arrow operator and you know, uh, getting rid of the break statement was already introduced in Java 13, so that's not new. But handling of this instance of operator using a object in switch is the most important feature that I wanted to show it here. Now by introducing this, you can actually check the null also as part of the case. Okay, like this case null. Multiple cases can be separated by comma. It was already available before 17, but this is a Java 17 feature. Now let's look at this particular code. Save as each passed to the switch and now we are actually checking two condition here triangle t as well as if t calculated area greater than 100 so this is actually a boilerplate code which can be uh, replaced by using a and operator right and that is also solved in java 17 so java 17 we can write it like case triangle t and t calculated area greater than 100 then do this okay this is something that I really wanted to see in a switch case statement and this is available which is really good awesome okay that's it for this video guys but uh, before I finish this video I would like to talk something about this text blocks because this is something that we usually as a software engineer very often we have to actually deal with a lot of string concatenation and you know uh, working with strings every day you might be facing this problem right we usually have to use escaping characters uh, for double quotes okay and if we are writing multiple lines we have to write like this which is already solved by introducing this you know triple quote so we can write like this triple quote and a json string it could be a html also and without escaping the characters like this okay which is really awesome this feature is available since java 13 i thought that i should still mention it if you are not aware so yeah thanks for watching guys and uh, see you next time till then bye take care